Does the CPU matter for 4K resolution? Is right now a good time to buy a gaming PC? And is your PC good for gaming? Well, throughout this video, I will answer all of those questions and more. I am Valentino and this is my monthly Q&A. So the first question comes from Adrian who asks, does the CPU matter for 4K resolution? And this is a very tough question, but yes, it does matter. It doesn't matter all the time, but it matters when it comes to gaming. For you to understand me I will try to make this as simply as possible with no scripts or anything but basically the CPU does not care about the resolution and it matters at 4k. The main thing that you have to keep in mind if you want to do gaming is that you need to prioritize your GPU and then get a CPU that will not bottleneck the GPU so that's the first thing but if you want to play more high CPU demanding titles or for example you want to play at 4k but you want to have the LSS on or FSR which both are the upscaler technologies those those are CPU demanding technologies, so the CPU utilization is going to be higher if you turn on any upscaler or if you are on high CPU demanding scenarios. But it's a very difficult answer because it depends on many things. It also depends on the settings and it also depends on the scenario that you're in even while playing the same game. So prioritize your GPU and then get a CPU that will not bottleneck it and you will be fine. But if you're going to get, for example, an RTX 4080 Super or RX 7900 XTX, or even higher like the RTX 4090, then do not chip out on your CPU, just get a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D or an i7 14700K or even higher end CPUs like an i9 14900K or Ryzen 9 17900X or 7950X 3D. Trust me, if you have the amount of money to spend to buy a 4080 Super or a 4090, just don't chip out on your CPU. That's a bad idea and yes, it does matter at 4K resolution, but as I said before, it also depends on the game because in some games you can get away with a lower end CPU with a higher end GPU. Then with the next question we have one from Colin who says is an i7 13700K and a 4060Ti good gaming combo for the price? In my opinion it's not. When we are talking about gaming as I said before you need a CPU that will not bottleneck your GPU and this CPU will not bottleneck the 4060Ti. However the 4060Ti is not ideal for gaming in terms of price to performance so isn't the i7 7-13-700K, especially with this budget. Now you didn't tell me your exact budget, but here you are getting a weak GPU compared to your CPU. In your case, I would swap the i7-13-700K to something like a Ryzen 5 7600 or i5 12600K and then I will get a faster graphics card. For example, you could get an RX 7800 xc or an RTX 4070 and that will give you a much faster gaming performance. If we are talking about content creation and productivity work, then the i7 and 4060Ti would be ideal because the CPU matters a bit more and the 4060Ti has 16 gigs of VRAM even though there are two variants and maybe you are talking about the 8 gigabyte variant but you didn't tell me here so in my opinion do not get this CPU and GPU combo for gaming just get a higher end GPU and lower your CPU to something like a Ryzen 5 7600 or i5 12600K or 13600K if you have the budget too. The next question is very interesting and it comes from Thomas. How do I know if there's a bottleneck in my CPU or GPU? Well, once again, very tough question, but it's a very interesting question to ask. And the answer is through MSI Afterburner. I would go to your favorite games and then test if your GPU is utilizing 90 to 100 percent of its power. But be careful because some games will not use that amount of GPU power. For example, games like Fortnite Low Settings, Valorant, DS2, and games that are not high GPU demanding. So that's something to keep in mind when running a benchmark. So if you want to find the best way, I think you should ask me in the comment section, is this CPU good for my GPU and things like that. And I will answer your question because as I said before, it depends on many things, but the best way to test it is through MSI Afterburner and seeing if your GPU is utilizing close to hundred percent and also watch the 1% lows because this tells you if the FPS are dropping a lot or not. And if you have a really weak CPU with a high end GPU, you will notice a bunch of starters and in that case your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU. The next question says is 1440p resolution worth it over 1080p? I have the RTX 4070 Super and the Ryzen 5 7600 X. Well I used to game at 1080p and then switch to 1440p and in my opinion it's worth it but it's very nice that you told me your CPU and GPU combo because it's not worth it for everyone. If you have for example an RTX 3060 and you are playing games like Cyberpunk on high to ultra settings then I 
would not recommend you upgrading to 1440p because you will not have a good level of performance so yes you may have a better image quality but your performance is dropping a lot but here you have a 4070 super which is ideal for 1440p resolution so in my opinion yes it's worth the upgrade from 1080p especially with the cpu and gpu combo but it's not worth the upgrade for everyone especially if you want to prioritize high fps then we have a question from gaming for fun op who asks is now a good time to buy a graphics card or a pc yes right now is an amazing time to buy a gpu or an entire system whether it's a pc build or a pre-built pc the market is basically better than ever it's very similar in terms of pricing to last year's black friday so in my opinion there's no reason to wait unless you want to buy an rtx 5090 which are rumored to launch by the end of this year 2024 and if you're going to buy a 5090 then you might wait but even then if you really want to do gaming now i think buy a pc now or a graphics card the most important thing is that you enjoy your gaming performance and that's the goal of gaming is gaming now not waiting but of course if there was a gpu right around the corner three weeks from now then i would say yes wait just a little bit but right now is an amazing time to buy especially with the current gpu and pc prices with the next question we have one from joshua who asks what's a good 1440p 144 hertz monitor is a ryzen 5 3600 and gtx 1660 super good and does it have upgrade potential well that's a lot of questions and i was gonna say it's not worth it for you because you have a gtx 1660 super and a ryzen 5 3600 which are not ideal for 1440p 144 hertz but then someone replied to your comment and then you told him that you want to stream minecraft so your cpu and gpu combo are actually fine for 1440p if you want to play just minecraft then that's completely fine but for most people if you have a gtx 1660 super do not upgrade to 1440p resolution if you want to play high gpu demanding titles for example games like red dead redemption 2 or cyberpunk or howard's legacy and games of that nature and you also ask if it has upgrade potential well it depends on your motherboard and your entire system the ryzen 5 3600 can be paired with some higher end gpus like the rx 5700 xt or the rtx 3060 so it does have some upgrade potential but again it depends on your motherboard because if let's say you want to upgrade the cpu down the line there are some motherboards from the am4 platform that i wouldn't recommend pairing with high-end cpus from the am4 platform like the ryzen 750 x3d and answering to your monitor question i do like the gigabyte m27q this is a 1440p 165 hertz monitor it's not the most expensive one and it's going to get the job done it also has an aps panel a 0.5 millisecond of response time and it's just going for under 300 dollars so in my opinion that's a very good value 1440p 165 hertz monitor and with the last question we have what is a good 240 hertz budget monitor you didn't tell me 1080p or 1440p or 4k i'm guessing you are talking about 1080p and in that case is the acer nitro xz27 this one is a 1080p 240 hertz monitor ba panel so not the best in terms of colors but for the price it's going to get the job done going for 160 dollars i do not know your exact budget so maybe we could have gotten a better monitor if you had a higher budget but i do like this one in terms of price to performance so that was it for my q a monthly video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and if you need personal pc help in the top link in the description you can ask me anything about pcs and i will help you out personally one on one so if you are building a system or you're looking for a new gaming pre-built pc you tell me and then i will give you the perfect recommendation depending on your specific situation Thank